Hey, what's up? Uh, happy Monday. Chris Azari here from fitdadchris.com. Uh, I want to start doing like a weekly video. This is my, I, I started the keto diet. Um, oh, people are honking. I uh, started the ketogenesis, uh, keto diet to get yourself in the keto ketosis, ketogenesis. I don't even know what that is. I, made, I just made that up, I think. Um, I just wanted to touch up base on a couple things, and I'm going to try to do a video once a week, and this video is going to be a little all over the place, but I just wanted to get something out there, and just my first week on it, and this isn't the first time I've tried going keto, you know, and the one thing I realize is doing this, it's like, um, it's hard to do, it's, it's hard to do keto, and it's not hard to do keto, it's hard to do keto, because you do have to really watch what you're eating, and you really got to stay on there a certain amount of carbs, but, and part of me, as I'm doing it, is sitting there going, geez, if I can do, if I could do this, I could probably just eat, not eat all the junk and the garbage that, you know, ends up putting on the pounds anyway, but for the, for, I, I always like to try new things, and it kind of gets me, catapults me to, like, do, do stuff, it just gives me motivation, I know, I always need something to go after, I just can't be normal, I guess, um, but I'm also <clears throat> just getting over a cold, and I was kind of sick, so I said, I always hear people talk about the keto flu, so I said, you know what, if I'm going to feel like crap anyway, maybe I'll just <laughs> just do it that whole week. So I started last Monday, exactly a week from today, um, and the first day I started doing it, I went to Trader Joe's, and I bought a bunch of stuff, and I bought some things, and, and I bought some beef jerky, and a couple other things, and you know, I'm eating, and then I'm like, later on I'm looking at it and I'm like oh that beef jerky was like flavored and it had like 10 car 10 carbs in it and then this other thing I had like 20 in it it said no sugar I wasn't looking for sugar so I'm going oh man I'm like totally you know it was still that still that that day I ate way better and cleaner and less than less junk and sugar than I had in a long time so I mean it was still a good thing but I definitely wasn't under like 20 or 30 now I'm going to try to start finding links to good resources because I'm there's no way that I'm going to be able to give you know 100% correct information about the diet. All I can do is, is is know what's what it's doing for me and how it's affecting me and testing myself because we're all so different. So you really have to think that. But I'm trying to stay under uh, 20 to 30 carbs a day, net carbs a day. Um, that's another cool thing. You know, I'm starting to learn. Like you know, if you look and see if something's got 10 carbs, but five, uh, 10 grams of carbs and five grams of fiber, it's really only five net, uh, five grams of net carbs. So that's cool. Um, So really, I mean, I got to say, it was definitely tough. Um, one thing I'm going to start doing, I got the keto, the, your, the strips you pee on to kind of help you, tell you what's up. I also bought some exogenous ketones to kind of test out with that, which seemed to work pretty cool. Um, I don't, I didn't get them for about, till about the third day in. Um, but I mean, I'm down, I'm down a solid 10 pounds. Now, of course, that's not all fat, but I'm definitely down 10 pounds of stuff, food not in my gut, uh, probably some water weight. I should try to drink a lot of water. Um, but the, the biggest thing I got to say is I feel so much better. For, the long, for, for a while now, I've been pretty lazy. For the last probably, I don't know, three months, I've been pretty lazy. I've just been kind of, I haven't really been working out. I've just been eating whatever I want to eat. Um, you know, just every night, like I'll be housing like a bowl, of, like honey nut Cheerios, you know, and you know, go to bed and after, after that, and I've just been so achy and I'll wake up sore. Like, why am I sore? Like, why, why am I hurting? You know, what is going on? Like, I haven't done anything. I'm not working out, you know? And, uh, I tell you like this week, man, I just feel, I feel, I don't feel that. I feel, I just feel like better really do I mean maybe it's a mental thing I don't know but I'll take it for now and I'll see where it goes but I really feel good I feel like I got extra spring in my step I'm going up the stairs like I'm not aching and stuff and I really feel that obviously it has a lot to do with diet and inflammation and all that stuff and just sugars and all that garbage which you've probably read about but um yeah I just you know like I said everyone's got to do stuff um you got to test things out on your own you know you, you can go online and find out what everybody else is doing but you got to test it out for yourself and see what's going to work for you. And, and that's really where where uh, where you're going to excel in whatever you're doing because we're not all all the same, you know. Um, I bought this yesterday. Um, that comes in Keto Mojo. It's, the, um, it's a ketone and blood glucose uh, tester. So I've been testing, 
and that's the other thing you try to see and you go online and see like how many how much you know what should my levels be at and if you're doing the urine strips are they most accurate and supposedly the blood test is the most accurate and this one looked really awesome I saw some good reviews on it and uh, I tried it yesterday for the first time Dude, actually it was awesome it was like nine o'clock at night on Saturday and I'm like sitting there I'm like I need to get one of these I went on Amazon they're like you want this tomorrow I'm like yeah I do and I ordered that thing up it came at, it was here it was here at like two o'clock on Sunday it was awesome Anyway, um, yeah, I tried it, and I was like 0. .8 was my was my uh, rating, and then and that was uh, had I eaten by then? Yeah, I'd eaten by then. Yeah, and then later on I tried it again, like after dinner, and um, it was like 0. .6. And yeah, yesterday what did I have to eat? I just had eggs, um, spinach, cheese, um, and later for dinner I had an I had like I had a burger, a cheeseburger, I forget what I had, I have to write it down, but, you know, and I was, I thought that was kind of low, and then I'm reading, you know, you read all these different things, and, you know, everyone tells you something else, and like I said, some people are going to read a little bit higher, maybe a little bit lower, like I said, it's all up to you, like how your body is and stuff, and um, I know I've been doing, like, eating clean like that, and not, you know, eating um, carbs, and there's also, you know, depending on if you're in a fasted state, and what your body's doing, and I haven't really been exercising at all yet. I, um, like I said, last week I was sick and I was just getting starting the keto, so I didn't want to like go exercise and really, you know, work myself over. So I was hoping to start working out today, but I don't know if you remember from a post a while ago, I had diverticulitis. So tomorrow I have to go for a colonoscopy. Woohoo! So I literally just had to buy at the store. Where is it? whole bottle I gotta I, I have to fat I have to do a 24 hour oh that's the other thing I've been intermittent fasting too so I've been doing basically I don't eat till 12 o'clock um I don't have my first meal till 12 o'clock and then I stop about nine o'clock so from 12 to 9 is my eating window and the rest of the time I'm just fasting just water coffee that's it um today I'm not allowed to eat all day and then um nothing after 12 midnight tonight and then at nine o'clock in the morning, I'm going for a colonoscopy. And then today they got me taking some laxative pills. And then I got to take this whole bottle of Miralax, this whole thing I got to mix with 64 ounces of water. And they had me doing it at three o'clock. So it's literally going to be like halfway through. It's going to be on my drive home. So I better, uh, I don't know. Hopefully all goes well. But um, speaking of that, I'll tell you this. You definitely don't have any, as many bowel movements on keto. Um, and I haven't been constipated because I've been trying to eat my veggies. That's the one big thing. That's the one big thing I'll tell you. You see people go out there and just straight up eating like protein and fats and stuff, but you got to have the veggies. I've been really trying to push the veggies just every, with every meal, trying to have some sort of vegetable with it. Um, spinach, kale, broccoli, string beans, um, tomatoes. Actually, I have some tomatoes from my garden and, um, I <laughs> literally only had the second one, and I really don't like eating tomatoes, but I don't know, maybe after this, like, the week, I just, like, not eating everything else, it tasted really good to me, um, so, and they say, like, stuff like that, your palate will change and everything like that, so it's cool, but, um, yeah, that's really about it right now, I just wanted to do a, one video before I, you know, before I forgot, the one, first week into it, um, down about 10 pounds, yeah, 10 pounds, I mean, that's pretty cool, uh, I feel great, that's more important, um, Again, I've been intermittent fasting. Uh, my eating, eating window has been 12 to 9. I'm doing keto. I'm trying to, um, you know, stay under 20 to 30 grams of carbs a day. And uh, I, what I want to start doing, too, is tracking how much I'm eating. Because uh, I realized the other day, like, I hadn't really, I was probably at about, like, 2,200 calories, which is pretty low for me. So, of course, you're going to lose some weight just from a calorie deficit. Um, but, again, you know, I really... You know, I really, as long as I cut on the junk and, and start hitting, the, hit, you know, working out again, I would definitely start to lose a few pounds. But I wanted to try to keto because I like the fact that you're just starting to burn. Like, I'd like to drop 20 pounds if I can, like, just do it, being in ketosis and see how that goes. And then probably start introducing some carbs back in and probably doing more stuff where, and even now I may try, I'm going to experiment, but like, if, I, if I'm going to have carbs or something, you know, fruit, some more fruits probably going to be before and after a workout. Um just you know time them around that so that's all i got i wanted to try to keep this under 10 minutes first week of keto feeling really good about it um just feeling good not achy i think the inflammation in my body is down which is awesome um not really hungry either that's the other thing like definitely like hungry 
but not like, oh my gosh, I gotta eat. Like not, I haven't had that starving feeling once. At night, I start to get a little edgy because I like that's when I normally snack and I gotta just be like, all right, listen, man, you know, you're in a good place. Don't mess it up. This is the goal. This is what you want. So, you know, stay with it. So that's where I'm at. Um, stay tuned for uh, coming weeks to follow. And uh, hopefully I'll be a little more organized in the next ones and try to have some more like st stats and stuff and make things a little more clearer. But uh, that's where I'm at right now. So I'd love to hear any comments what stuff you've struggled with trying keto. You know, maybe, you know, how long did it take you to get into ketosis? Um, what, you know, what knocks you out? What foods can you eat? You know, if you're testing with the strips, the urine strips or the blood boost, just let me know in the comments below. All right. Thanks a lot. Chris Zary, FitDadChris.com. Thanks.